What is up you guys? It is Katya Volks. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another supplement review, another protein powder review. Yes, jumping straight into it. I'm excited to try this as it has been on my list of vegan protein powders to try and finally I'm getting around to doing it. So yeah, I mean, you've seen from the title that we're going to be trying the Nutra Bio protein powder. So they've got three flavors and three pretty unique flavors. We've got Snickerdoodle Cookie, Mochaccino Mousse Cake, and German Chocolate Cake. So yes, they all sound so delicious. Two cake flavors and one cookie flavor. So all very desserty inspired flavors to try. And I'll go through the macros when we try them. But if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We've got lots of other reviews to come out as well as other just gym bodybuilding content for you. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and open up. Let's try one of the cakes first. I think I want to go for the German chocolate cake. So yeah, I'm going to mix it up with some water and get back to you in just a minute. All right, so it mixed perfectly with just water and the macros on this is 120 calories. This is for one scoop, 32 grams, 120 calories, three fat, five carb and 20 protein. So yeah, that's really awesome. It doesn't show if it has any added sugars. They use like xanthan gum. It looks like they do stevia, stevia extract as a sweetener. That one had a sticker over it. No, they use monk. Yeah, they use monk fruit as well as stevia. So natural sweeteners. I love that, and it even shows the gram, the milligrams that they put in that. So for the other ingredients, because usually they don't. So that's just random, but I don't know. I like that little attention to detail. Anyways, only other brand that has a German chocolate cake is Live Body. So let's see how it compare. Oh, okay. So there's these weird like little pieces in here. If you can see that, I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's with the protein. Yeah, that is with the protein powder. I mean, that's kind of weird. I wonder if it's supposed to be like the little shavings that's on top of the cake in the picture. We'll see. Hmm, interesting. Okay, because in the picture, it makes it look as though it's like coconut shavings. And so I'm thinking it's supposed to be coconut. Hold on, let me check the ingredients in this. So there's nothing regarding coconut in it, so I don't know what it is, but it's interesting and it kind of tastes coconutty, I think. I mean, <laughs> unless my mind is tricking me, but it's like alkalized cocoa powder, natural flavors, anthem gum, so kind of weird, but it's okay in regards to like chocolate cake flavor. I feel like the pea protein, because it has a whole yellow pea protein blend in it, kind of comes through. So I'm not too fond of that alone. Now this is just with water. Of course, like once I mix it in like a shake or oatmeal, it'll cover it and it'll probably taste great because the chocolate flavor part is prominent and it's really good. But if you are planning to have this like post to work out just to shake it with some water, it's okay. It's subpar. Like I would just rate it like a seven out of 10. Like I would say alone with just water, the Live Bodies German chocolate cake tastes so good. But like I said, once I mix this with something else, I can tell that this will taste pretty darn good. But as for it is alone, now this is just 18 servings and it was like 30 or $40. It is kind of expensive, but it's all right. I'll give my overall consensus at the end, but so far, so far so good. All right, I'm gonna finish this up, clean the jar, and then we will try the snickerdoodle cookie. All right, so I actually had to look up the ingredients and it does have in the German chocolate cake, unsweetened toasted coconut. So those were coconut little pieces. So I'm kind of surprised though, it's not like German chocolate coconut cake that they don't include that. Cause otherwise anyone else who would have bought it would have been like, what is this? So anyways, we've got the snickerdoodle cookie right here, blended up or mixed up perfectly with just some water and without a shaker ball. So, hmm, very light cinnamon taste coming through. Yeah, so you can't smell it very much. Mmm, okay. First flavor when it comes forward, you get like a snickerdoodle, but then all of a sudden it becomes like overwhelming. Like, I don't know if you've accidentally like tasted 
vanilla extract just straight up. Like if you dip your finger in it and taste it, it's like overpowering. And that's what it tastes like. So just with water alone, it is quite overpowering. Like first comes cinnamon and then bang, you get like this vanilla extract flavor. So it is really, really strong. So of course it's one of those things where water alone, oh gosh, I would give this like a four out of 10. It's, oh man, this is, I am not gonna return it. I will probably hold on to it and I'll just like add it into my oats and blend it with other flavors because alone, I mean, if I absolutely don't like it with just even oatmeal, maybe I can return it. I got it off of Amazon, so we'll see. They were $35.99. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Ooh, no. Yeah, like that alcohol part of the vanilla extract is really coming through for some reason. So I am not enjoying this as well. I mean, it doesn't have vanilla extract. It just says natural flavor, salt, and some gum, monk fruit, cinnamon, and stevia. Maybe it's too much of like the stevia or monk fruit, like the overly sweetness. Yeah, if you've ever tasted too much of an artificial sweetener, it's just like super overpowering. So, all right. Yeah, no, I don't know. Not fond of it. All right, I'm gonna just chug it. And then we're gonna move on to the last flavor, which is our mochaccino mousse cake. Let's hope this one's pretty good, but mm, better than this one at least. All right, so this one mixed well, and this one looks like it also has little specks of something, maybe like coffee or whatever. But anyways, for one scoop, it's 110 calories, two fat, five carb, and 20 protein. So let's see how this one, the mochaccino mousse cake holds up. Yeah, they put like little specks of, it looks like possibly like coffee or something, if not chocolate. So let's see. Mmm. okay. Prominent, prominent coffee flavor. I actually like this. I really like the prominence of the coffee flavor. So if you're not a coffee person, you're definitely not gonna like this, but I like it. Mm. Now it's a little overpowering, a little strong. And I feel like I put just the right amount of water because otherwise it would have been watered down. But it, it is, tastes kind of like that instant coffee, which isn't the greatest flavor, you know, versus real coffee, but it's fair. So I'll give this like, a seven out of 10. It's not my favorite coffee flavor, but it's not God awful. So it's okay. Slight mouthfeel. I didn't mention that with the other two protein powders, but you can kind of get somewhat of a texture. Like it's not a hundred percent smooth, but there's not a grittiness to it. So it's not too bad. I like the little fact that they got like the little pieces in there and stuff, but it's whatever. All right, I'm going to finish this up and then we're going to wrap up this review. All right, guys, so we tried all three of the Nutra Bio Protein powders. My overall thoughts, do I plan on buying this again? No, I don't. Overall, I mean, only the chocolate cake and the mochaccino mousse cake were pretty good, but I can say there's way better brands back out there and thank god i bought them through amazon because honestly i am going to return that snickerdoodle and i just tried chugging the rest of it down it just was god awful i did not enjoy that whatsoever so i'm gonna go ahead and do an amazon return and then get that money back on my credit you know and then i can use it for a different protein powder or even like a pre-workout we could try it with you guys so unfortunately, I was so looking forward to trying these protein powders, but they really aren't that good, so I don't recommend them. If you wanna know what my favorite protein powders are, I always got the links down in my description box below with coupon codes as well. I promise you, I've tried so many brands. <laughs> if you've been following me for quite a while, you know I've tried a lot. So I'm very picky when it comes to good protein powders. I'm still making a list for those top five, bottom five protein powders to give Maybe this will fit on the list, maybe it won't. We won't know, so it'll be a minute until I have that video finished up for y'all. But as for now, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel because we've got some other content coming out for y'all. We've got a, an, an anabolic recipe coming soon as well as a pre-workout review. So stay tuned for those videos. Like this video if you haven't already. And I love you all, so stay strong. Get yourself a good protein powder if you are going to. Get those gains. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.